morning children how are you i hope you are all safe there today you are going to learn the addition of numbers some not exceeding 9 children do you know the numbers 0 to 9 now i will be showing the numbers 0 to 9 Let's read the numbers. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Shall we read once again? Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Children, just we have read the numbers zero to nine. Now all of you take your math textbook. Now open page number fifty-six. Children, what can you observe in this picture? Yes, you can observe children and a big chain is there. Children, I am taking the first row in this page. All of you see here. How many beads are there? Yes, three beads are there. Now let's move to second box. A boy, a boy is adding. A bead to the chain. Okay, children. Next move to last box. After adding one bead, children, can you say how many beads are there? Yes, let's count. One, two, three, four. Okay, how many beads are there? Yes, four beads are there. Now, what did you observe here? Yes, three plus one equal to four. Children, we can say one plus three equal to four. Children, next move to second row. Children. Can you see the second row here? What do you observe here? Yes. In this first box, in the second row, how many beads are there here? See. Yes. How many beads are there? Four beads are there. Now. Again, a boy is adding one bead to the bead chain. Children, can you say how many beads are there in all together now? Yes, let's count. One, two, three, four, five. Very good, children. There are. Five beads are there. Children, you have to complete the remaining rows in this page number fifty-six. Okay. Now let's move to page number fifty-seven. But I will be explaining this so you can understand easily. Children, all of you. See page number fifty-seven. What did you observe here? Now you have to count the objects and write the numbers in the bigger boxes. Okay. Now I am taking the first row. This row already completed, but I will be explaining this row. You can understand easily. 
children you can see some set of objects given in this row can you say how many flowers are there in the first box good five flowers are there so we have to write five in this small box so that's why already written here five children how many flowers are there in the second box yes children two flowers are there so we have to write two children can you say how many flowers are there in all together children you can find the answer by counting the objects count the objects here how many objects are there yes there are how many seven flowers are there so we have to write which number yes we have to write seven in this box already written seven here children let's go to the remaining sums children i am explaining the second row in page number 57 you can observe in the second row how many books are there in the first box yes two books are there how many books are there in the second box yes three books are there children can you say how many books are there in all together let's count one two three four five how many books are there in all together five books are there so we have to write five in this box okay children children all of you see here in the page number 57 i am taking the third row All of you observe third row. How many balls are there in the first box? Let's count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we have to write 6 in this box. Now let's count in the second box. 1, 2. So we have to write two in this small box children can you say how many balls are there in all together so let's count one two three four five six seven eight how many balls are there in all together yes eight let's write eight in this box very good children children you have to complete the remaining rows in page number 57 at home children now i will be explaining the version with a simple activity all of you see here this activity children I have taken here two stars. Now I am adding three more stars for these two stars. Can you give numbers for these objects? How many stars are there? Two. Here how many stars are there here? Yes, children, three. Now let's count how many stars are there here in all together. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. How many stars are there? Five. 
Very good children. Children, now all of you see the page number fifty-eight. Children, see in page number fifty-eight. I am taking the first row in page number fifty-eight. How many parrots are there in the first box? Can you count? Yes, five parrots are there. Now move to next box. How many parrots are there? Yes, one parrot is there. Children, can you say how many parrots are there in all together? Children, let's count. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Okay, children. Next, move to second row. Children, see here. How many fishes are there in first? Yes. How many fishes? Three fishes. Very good. Now, in the second box, how many fishes are there? Very good. Two fishes. children can you say how many fishes in all together 1 2 3 four, 5 how many fishes are there yes very good five fishes there are five fishes in all together now you have to complete the remaining rows in the page number 58 at the home okay children children now i will be explaining the addition with another activity all of you see here children see here now i am taking four pens from these pens how many pens i am taking here I am taking four pens. How many pens I have taken? I have taken four pens here. Now I am taking two more pens. That means I am adding two more pens for these pens. Done. Count one, two. Three, four. How many pens I have taken? Four pens. Here, how many pens? One, two, two pens. Let's write here two. Children, can you say how many pens and all together? How can you find by adding these two set of pens? We can find the answer. Now I am going to. put all these pens together in one place i am taking here okay i am putting all these pens in this place see here children now i am adding these two set of pens in this place okay now let's count how many pens are there One, two, three, four, five, six. Six pins are there. Let's write here six. So four plus two, how much? Six. Four plus two, six. You can write as four plus two equal to six. Two plus four also, we can write as six. Children, now I am taking three pens at first. After that, I have taken one pen. How many pens are there here? Three pens. Let's write three here. How many pens? One pen. Let's write 
one here children can you say how many pins are there in all together how can you find yes you can find all these pins take them here okay i am taking all these pins i am putting all these pins in this place now count here 1 2 3 4 how many pins are there yes four pins are there children we can write it as 3 plus 1 equal 4 and also 1 plus 3 equal 4 children what did you learn the addition meaning here can you say see here adding the objects or put the objects together okay children i will be showing the another addition problem here all of you see here i have taken some butterflies here how many butterflies i have taken first five after that i have taken two butterflies children can you say total number of butterflies yes there are seven butterflies are there so let's write here seven we can write it as 5 plus 2 equal to 7 and also we can get 2 plus 5 equal to also 7 children Example, you can understand easily. Okay, children. Children, I am going to explain page number fifty-nine. All of you, open page number fifty-nine. See here, I am taking the first row in this page. You can observe. Now, see in this first box. i am taking the first row here how many balls are there in the first row as yes, three balls right three here now i am taking the second row how many balls are there one ball is there okay let's write one here children can you say how many balls are there in all together you can find by counting the objects let's count 1 2 3 4 how many balls are there four so we have to write 3 plus 1 equal to how much four so we have to write four in this box children we have taken set of objects here vertically here we got the answer 3 plus 1 equal to 4 this is called vertical method then next move to second box here we are taking the set of objects in horizontal so this is called horizontal method there is no change to find the answer here also we are getting the answer 4 3 plus 1 equal to 4 let's write 4 in this box children next move to second row here i am taking the first box the second row 
see here how many marbles given in the first row is one marble is given so write one here how many marbles given in the second row one two three four five let's write here five children how many marbles are there in all together let's count 1 2 3 4 5 6 so 1 plus 5 equal to 6 so the number 6 write in this box okay we have done here vertical method now let's move to the second box this is horizontal method here the set of objects taken in horizontally so what we will get the answer yes children the answer will be same 6 1 plus 5 equal to 6 let's write 6 in this box children see the last row in this page you can observe blank boxes given and objects not given here but the number of objects given for each row now we can choose the objects ourselves for the given numbers here i am taking flowers as objects see the first row how many flowers we should take here children can you say how many flowers we should take here yes four now let's move to second row children how many flowers we have to take here good two flowers children can you say the total number of flowers let's count the total number of flowers let's start counting 1 2 3 4 5 6 how many flowers are there six flowers are there very good now which number we have to write in this box yes we have to write 6 in this box very good children can you say which method we have done here yes we have done the vertical method now let's move to second box in this box which method we have to do here can you say yes horizontal method here also we should take same number of objects which we have taken in the vertical method can you say children 4 plus 2 how much yes 6 so we have to write 6 in this box very good children you did well children now let's move to page number 60 see here in page number 60 you have to count the objects and write the numbers in the below boxes okay children children all of you open page number 60 see here look at the pictures in each box count them and say their sum here one example 
given now i will be explaining this example you try to understand it see here in the first box how many marbles are there yes three marbles are there now see in second box how many marbles are there two marbles are there that's why here row 2 now go to third box how many marbles are there one marble given so we have to write one number children now here how many marbles in all together is yes. let's count here you can get 6 so we have to write number 6 in this box this is actually this is horizontal method here see the addition of numbers given in vertical method you can see here 3 plus 2 plus 1 How much we get? S. Yes. Three plus two plus one equal to six. Dear children, I will be explaining the second row in this page number sixty. All of you see here. See in the first box, how many marbles given here? S. Yes. Three. In the second box, how many marbles given? S. Yes. one marble given in the third box how many marbles 1 2 3 4 marbles given already here written 4 now we have to find the total marbles children can you say how many marbles are there in all together let's count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 total 8 marbles are there this is horizontal method set of objects given in horizontal method now here the numbers addition of numbers given in vertical method what is the total of these numbers 3 plus 1 plus 4 equal to how much is yes, 8 so let's write here 8 yes. now i am taking the third row this page number 60 see here let's count the marbles in first box How many marbles are there? Yes, four marbles are there. In the second box, how many marbles are there? Yes, three marbles are there. In third box, how many marbles? Two marbles are there. So we have to find the total number of marbles. Children, now I am taking. all these marbles to in this box now let's count how many marbles are there how many marbles are there yes nine marbles are there so let's write nine in this box now let's add the numbers 4 plus 3 plus 2 How much? Four plus three seven. Seven plus two nine. Let's write nine in this box. Dear children, do the following sums at home.
Goodbye children.